Hello, let's see a demo of the review workflow for an audio transcription project type. So this is the project page in which the project ID, the description, the project type which is audio transcription, project status which is published and the number of unassigned annotation task count and the number of unassigned review tasks count are shown. So logging in as a reviewer, we can see that the number of unassigned review tasks is 1 right now. So the reviewer can click on pull new batch and also change the size accordingly to pull a batch of 5 tasks so that particular unreviewed task has been assigned to this reviewer this is the review task dashboard in which the task id so each task will have an audio file which has been transcribed by the annotator so each task has its own id the annotator email so that is the uh, email of the annotator who has annotated this the domain to which this audio file belongs to the scenario to which this audio file belongs to the audio duration the reference raw transcript which is the words which is which are being spoken in the audio and the initial status of the task which is in unreviewed so upon uh, completion by the reviewer depending on whichever status the reviewer has assigned it it will be marked as either accepted in which case the annotator's version would have been accepted as it is the next one is accepted with minor changes when the reviewer himself would have made a few minor changes to the transcripts and then accepted it next is accepted with major changes when the reviewer would have made a lot of changes to the annotator's version and then accepted it the next is to be revised status in which case the reviewer can send the same uh, task back to the annotator for a revision next is draft uh, which is the status in which the reviewer can, can, can place a task in and then come back and complete it later on the next is skip status which indicates that a reviewer has chosen to skip this task and not review it so in order to start reviewing the user can either click on start reviewing now in which case the tasks will automatically navigate to the next one upon submission of the first one or if the reviewer wants to individually review each task, they can click on the review button. And now let us say that the reviewer doesn't want to work on this particular batch of tasks. They can click on the allocate tasks and the tasks will get reallocated. Now the reviewer can again pull a new batch of tasks. And then now let us start reviewing. So this is the review page for an audio transcription project. So these are all the segments which have been marked by the annotator. So the reviewer can actually play or pause it by clicking on this play. Oh. The speed of the audio, the playback speed of the audio can be adjusted using this drop down. The volume bar can be used for adjusting the volume. And the zoom feature can be used for zooming into the segmentations. So this will help the reviewer to adjust the segments properly. This is the reference raw transcript which has the words which are being spoken in the audio. So this particular audio file has two speakers, speaker 0 and speaker 1 and the regions marked in the corresponding colors indicates that this part is being spoken by this particular speaker. In order to get the transcript for each of these regions, the reviewer can click on that particular region and the transcription appears here. So if they want to make any edits, they can just type here and click outside and it will get submitted. So this particular thing if you see, so in case there is some uh, background noise in the audio file, then the user has the option to select these noise tags and enter it here. So in order to select the noise tag, the user can scroll up and see the list of tags here. Or if they know what they want, they can just type it here and they will put it. So now let us say that they type bell and we got this. Click on this. So this tag bell has been copied to the clip, uh, clipboard. The user has to just paste that here click outside and it will get added so similarly the reviewer can verify each of these and also they can make 
edits to the segment duration also so if it, if there is any mismatch in it so all these audio transcription tasks will have the regions marked only for those parts where some speech is there so wherever nothing is being spoken the annotator or the reviewer need not mark those regions also for languages like urdu if they want to type from right to left they can just click on this enable rtl typing and then whatever they type will appear from right to left for typing in languages other than english the transliteration feature can be used if the reviewer wants to send a task back for revision to the annotator then they can just click on this revise button also there is this feature of notes in which the reviewer can enter their notes and this will be accessible to the annotator so they can just enter whatever details they want to and then click on revise so this is the annotator's version of the page where the annotator can go to the to be revised filter and retrieve the task here they'll be able to see the review notes so if the annotator wants to send some notes to the reviewer they can actually enter the notes here and then make changes if any and then if they click on update again it will get submitted so if you go back to the tasks page you can see that the task is now back in labeled status once again as for the reviewer the reviewer will be able to see it again in the unreviewed status so they will be able to see the annotator's notes so if the reviewer feels that this is correct then they can just click on accept so they can either choose accept with no changes if there are no changes made by this particular reviewer to the annotator's version or if the reviewer makes minor changes they can select accept with minor changes or if the reviewer makes major changes they can then select accept with major changes and then sub so the reviewer can also mark any task is draft and then work on it later on they can also skip on uh, they can also skip any task so going back to the project page the reviewer can track his work by clicking on this submit button so they can also select the date range for which they want the report to be fetched clicking on submit this is the reviewer report which has the reviewer name the reviewer email the number of assigned tasks the number of accepted tasks and the number of accepted with minor changes accepted with major changes the unreviewed task count the draft task count the skip task count the to be revised count this is the average rejection loop value this is the tasks rejected maximum time so these are all applicable only for the projects which have super checker flow enabled so the reviewer can ignore these two values and this is the total audio duration which has been reviewed by the reviewer So this completes a review workflow for an audio transcription project.